Welcome. In this video, we're diving into the USPS Live Rates free plugin by Octalize. Before we jump into the configuration, let's start with a bit of theory. What are Live Rates plugin? Let's start with a closer look at what Live Rates plugin really is. Unlike flat or fixed shipping rates, Live Rates plugins connect your online store directly with shipping carriers like, for example, UPS, FedEx, USPS, or DHL via their APIs. This connection allows the plugin to fetch up-to-date shipping prices dynamically, considering factors such as the weight and size of the package, the destination address, and even the shipping service selected. This means your customers get real-time precise shipping costs every time they check out. No guessing, no surprises. Table Rate versus Live Rates Understanding the difference between table rates and live rates is essential for WooCommerce shipping. So, in a nutshell, table rates are basically manually set shipping method, where the store owner defines fixed rates based on different conditions. An example of such a product is our flexible shipping plugin, which is primarily based on table rate rules. If you'd like to learn more about this product, we invite you to watch our other videos. Extra hint, recently we added an AI feature to our main plugin, Flexible Shipping, which makes setting up these rules even easier and faster. On the other hand, live rates are pulled directly from the shipping carrier system in real time. This means prices are always accurate, reflecting current surcharges and other variables. So which plugins are better? The answer is, neither, it all depends on your shipping needs and how much control you want over your shipping costs. Okay, now we understand the basics of the two most popular types of shipping plugins, let's get back to the USPS plugin. How to download the plugin. There are two simple ways to download the plugin. The first option is through the built-in WordPress plugin search function. Just type in USPS Octalize and the plugin will appear right away. The second option is to download it via Google search by going to the official WordPress plugin repository. From there, you can download the plugin as a .zip file. Either option is fine, but searching in WordPress is the fastest way. How to install WordPress plugin. If you go with the first option, all you need to do is click install now and then activate. That's it. Nothing else is required. If you choose the second option, there are actually a few different ways to install the plugin manually. We've already covered those methods in another video on our channel. Right after activation, the very first step is to go to WooCommerce Settings, Shipping, USPS. Here, you'll need to enter your USPS login credentials to connect your store with the carrier. If you don't have a USPS account yet, don't worry, we've prepared a full step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you exactly how to create and configure one. Important. We strongly recommend connecting through the REST API. It's the most stable and up-to-date option, ensuring the best performance when fetching live rates. How to configure USPS Live Rates plugin. Let's see how easy it is to set up. Go to WooCommerce Settings, Shipping. Choose a shipping zone, for example, United States, and click Add Shipping Method. From the list, Pick USPS Live Rates and hit Add. Done. You've just connected WooCommerce with USPS. Now, click on the method name to fine-tune the settings. First section is Method Settings. Inside, you'll see options designed to keep your checkout smooth and customer-friendly. Method Title. Set how the option appears at checkout. Fallback Rate. A backup flat rate in case the API doesn't return prices. No more dead ends at checkout. Free shipping, encourage larger orders by offering free delivery over a set amount. The next section is the services section. From our experience, this is often the part that raises the most questions. To help with that, we've prepared a detailed guide in our documentation. All you need to do is choose the main service type and then match it with the right subtype, shape, and delivery type, exactly as shown in the guide. Moving on, we come to the Package Settings section. Here you'll need to enter the default length, width, height, and weight. These values are used for calculating shipping costs. Remember, the default weight will only apply if the products in the cart don't already have a weight defined. Let's move to one of the most important sections, Rates Adjustments. You'll find three key options here. Commercial Rates Enable this if you want your customers to see and use USPS commercial pricing instead of standard retail rates. 
Value of contents. This setting is crucial when sending envelopes abroad. For these packages, the value must be set to zero. Insurance. Check this box if you want insurance costs to be automatically included in USPS rates, whenever the chosen service supports it. The last option is additional costs by flexible shipping table rate. With this feature, you can combine our most popular plugin with USPS and set various parameters. We have a video and article about this feature. Troubleshooting. And if something doesn't work, don't panic. Octalize plugins has debug mode, which shows detailed info right in the cart or checkout. It's like a flashlight that reveals what's wrong, wrong currency, missing dimensions, service not available, and helps you fix it fast. Plus, our documentation is updated weekly with guides and explanations of common USPS error code. Troubleshooting no shipping options available. The most common reasons for no USPS shipping option are a mismatch between your store currency and your USPS account currency, USPS services unavailable for the specific shipping and delivery addresses, incorrect or incomplete USPS shipping credentials, exceeded weight or dimension limits for the selected shipping method, shipping options or services not properly configured in the plugin settings. Network or API connection issues between WooCommerce and USPS. Troubleshooting rates discrepancy. Seeing differences between WooCommerce and USPS rates? Don't worry, we've prepared a step-by-step -step guide in our documentation to help you verify rates with the USPS calculator. Follow the instructions to quickly identify and fix rate discrepancies. Troubleshooting other errors. For any other error you encounter, Simply write to our AI chat, and within seconds you'll receive a suggested solution. If you liked the free version of the plugin, we're confident you'll love our Pro even more. It gives you greater control, smarter packing, flexible handling fees, and premium support, everything you need to take your shipping to the next level. Thank you for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and check our blog for more WooCommerce shipping tips. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments. We're always here to help. See you in the next video.